Angel and My Game 43 are one of the richest developers in Roblox. This video by Cube Inc. explains it all. 362 million Robux. 6.9 billion Robux. How much is that? Axier got a Rolex, bro. Imagine making millions of dollars by simply playing Roblox. Nope, millions of video. dollars just playing really Roblox. Impossible. And this guy's saying that's impossible. Are you sure about that? That is Rip Ninja telling you that's not impossible. It's just one of the few who turned their love for Roblox into billions of Robux. 6.9 billion, billion Robux? 6.9 billion Robux. How much is that? How, how much would it calculate? 6.9 billion to dollars. And if you guys want some Robux, make sure you guys like the video right now. You might just get some Robux. Largest games on the planet. Real historical moments and more. But to find out how they did this. Oof. Whoa. Did this rip Ninja got 1 billion Robux? Into their full stories one by one, beginning with Stick. So now let's check out the story of Rip Ninja and My Game 43 and how they become millionaires. Hardworking devs, there's always a bigger fish in this. The biggest fish in Roblox, or maybe biggest shark in Roblox. Let's watch it. See. While Snicktrick saw Minecraft as inspiration, Indra loved fighting games Ooh, and saw Indra them as inspiration. With this newfound love, him and his brother spent years Ooh. in the garage making anime. Him and his brother, that's gonna be my game 43 and Rip Indra. Let's go anime fighting games. A fighting games and following their inspiration. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Rip, this is by Rip Indra. Dragon Ball Shattered Sky 2. Okay, that that is by Rip Indra. But not a zero with zero players. Bloxus right now has 644,000 people playing. None of the games went far. However, all of this work didn't completely go to waste. Along the way, okay. they met a bunch of like minded people. <laughs> Who's we this? all want to make a successful fighting game. Okay. Let's put all our skills together and make this happen. Ooh, they just created a group, okay? The gamer robot group was created. Now with some extra hands, he was able to create two pretty decent games. The first one kind of bombed, but it got recognized what by a pretty this? special person. But as for the second one... Elemental Wars was also by Rip Ninja. Might not last, but number one PC... Might not last, but number one PC game is pretty cool, okay? The game is pretty cool. Uh, that was fast. Players love the game idea. All you gotta do is pick an element and start swinging. It's so simple, which means any player can get into it. But the billion dollar oh. question is, how will Indra stay on top? Yes, getting yes. up was easy. You know what's the hardest part? Staying on top. Because getting on top, okay, might be easier. But staying on top is the hardest part. Okay, let's see how but they stay on top. staying up is a much, much bigger challenge. Yes, Surprisingly, the Elemental the Wars part. wasn't his final vision Elemental of Wars. the Roblox game. Even with all of this, he was yet to reach his full potential. Oof, what is full potential? This would be a cool Oof. Roblox game. This is One Piece, one of Indra's favorite animes and conveniently, the number okay. one show in the world. Well, that, that was recently because of the live action. Using the cool mechanics from his previous games, he and his team made a sequel, Blocks Piece, with the goal of spreading okay, his Blocks love Feast. for his favorite. Before it was called Blocks Feast, it was Blocks Feast, if you guys don't know. Rich show. Publishing At game. first He's glance, Blocks game. Piece looked a bit generic, but the real the genius was in the gameplay. Since One Piece was so popular, Ooh. Indra took a lot of things from the show and applied it to his <laughs> game thing. with 12 different fruits that had abilities. Wait, why is it new fruits right away? This is new fruits. By the way, this wasn't the fruit before, but it looks cool right now. Similar to the show, surely it'll appeal to the millions of One Piece fans. But to actually make them play, Indra made sure that all the mechanics were flawless. Yes, the mechanics of Bloxers are just insanely Bro, good. They got the Buddha fruit? That's my favorite in the show. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Following the successful release, Ooh. Indra continued to add fruits, islands, weapons, and NPCs oh, even the based on the popular new. show. He also let One Piece fans decide the next update, which overall... Yes. This is the best part about Bloxers. They listen to the community. If they ask you what you want next, they will give you what you want. Keep the game more interactive and prosper financially. Mm-hmm. Block but speed. after this, Indra completely switched his plan. Usually, he would do many updates weekly, which players love. Yes, I uh, think before they do mo more updates, like little updates. That was like 2019. We weren't even playing that time. But one day he thought, What if we put all our effort into one big update instead? 
Ooh. That might work, but players will have to wait longer for updates. Yes, but if you want to stay on top, you need to take risks. So for the next three months, the team worked non-stop on their biggest update yet. Hoping players Ooh, won't forget yes, them. Let's go. With a second world, many new fruits. Okay, when the second seed came out, you got 20 fruits. Cooler weapons and higher levels to grind okay, before for. Update, Players update. had so much to do, which led to them inventing the first major challenge. You start with nothing, buy and, a fruit, and, and only use that to get max level. Not okay. only did this flood interest bank account. 362 million? Fruit sales! 362 million Robux! Oh my goodness! Okay, how do you... Okay, all the mathematician right there. How do you compute this to real money? Because, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> but also motivated new players and gave the game promotion. But even with a very dedicated fan base, Indra still didn't have an identity. Yes. He built his entire game from One Piece, which not only seemed unoriginal, uh -huh. but One Piece themselves were striking games that replicated them. Okay. To prevent having an island's moment, Indra rolled out another big update, completely revamping the game. Oof. From simple mechanics to the game name itself. So, after the update, it was Blocks Feast, then they changed it to Blocks Fruits. Oh. Indra made sure it's still like One Piece. Right now, the game, they kind of like separate themselves from One Piece. Half of the people playing Bloxers right now, they haven't even watched One Piece. It's like you enjoy the game because of the game, not because of the show. Had its own blocky charm. That way, One Piece fans will still like it, but it may appeal to more players. Another way Indra billion? expressed himself was giving back to people, mainly yes. Axior. Hey, Axior, oh Axior. Axior here, everybody type in Axior, because Axior was the man. He was the man. Long time fan who made viral videos on the game. In return, Indra and his friends gave him front row seats Oof. to special admin Do powers. I remember this video. From flying boats Axior was to never... Axior was doing like all the admin videos. It was like amazing. Before seeing abilities, what made these clips surreal is that these powers are so different from God. the normal fruits everyone loved using. Not only did players obsess over them, but also made lore out of it. Since Blocks Fruits had a whole story. Wait, does Indra have any rivals? What's the orig origin of Indra's power? Where was Indra born? Nobody knows. Where was Indra born? Indra is a legend. Right now, players stuck around to see the story develop. And develop it did. As mm -hmm. time went by, players... There you go. Now, 2021. Here we go. Players got more and more obsessed on the latest and greatest fruits. Spending millions of Robux on private servers to grind levels in peace. Although Indra made a fortune from this, he didn't waste it on hats, cars, yes. or drugs. And instead, drugs. spent it on making bigger <laughs> updates such... Hiring developers to grow our game. This was 2021. Just Fruit Awakenings, which basically buff. Yes, when the Fruit Awakening came out, it was huge. It's your Fruit's abilities. You gotta act broke to stay rich. And although yes, he didn't need to, he added YouTubers in the game as MP. Official movie and Axior was added in the game, but where is Kit Gaming and PC? Everybody like the video right now. Let's get this to 20,000 likes. Maybe they'll add a Kit Gaming and PC. Let's go. PCs, a nice token oh, of- right, I'm right there, I'm right there, but I'm the, uh, 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 no, I'm not an NPC yet. Appreciation. But in the next six months, the game only updated one time. One but time, the thing yes. is, Blocks Fruits didn't need as many updates. Each one was need. already massive. Maybe Plus, it was very replayable. With dozens of fruits and two massive realms to fight in, the possibilities were endless. Plus, it was easy for new players because they can't get attacked. And just like mm -hmm. before, Indra knew how to keep players hyped. No yes. Indra know how to keep the people hyped. Like, not just Indra, MyGame43, Zeolis, Uzot, Admin E, they know. Knowing how competitive the game was, he and his brother made two enemy clans. Oh, yes, I like remember this rival. one. The Red Legion versus Rip Family. Do you guys remember this? Do you guys remember this? <laughs> Indra, let's go! Let's go, Indra! Let's go! If you guys remember this, like the video right now. Both the key players on her toes. Yes, sir. Where's this redhead? Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. Live stream, our 500k live stream. I remember this. This was one of the best live stream we've ever had. Oh, okay. there you go. Maybe not so friendly. While the devs stayed yeah, they, quiet, they were sure each other. Using their wild imagination, they came up with better and better PvP combos with the fruits and fighting Ooh. styles from the last. This was when Fur 99999 was born. Like Combo God was born. Big update. This randomness made the game a lot more competitive. 
Yes, sir. Which is exactly what Indra would have wanted. Wow, if the game was this hype with Fallout Back updates, imagine- At that time, there's only 97,000 people playing this game. Only 97,000 people. What will happen if- And Zeolis was born. Look at this. 100,000 people waiting for the trailer. How insane it is. Look at that trailer. Just for a trailer, 100,000 people waiting. Waiting, okay, now watch it. With three massive worlds and a new level cap, let's just say the six month wait was worth it. Yes. By spending more time on fruit designs, weapons, and pretty much everything, players mm -hmm. were more motivated to spend days trying to get them. Not because it's from One Piece, but because of how awesome they look. But to make the community stronger, Indra added trading. Every fruit had Yes, a when the trade came out, that was one of the best updates. Do you guys remember when the trade came out, there was a remix song when you're trading? Do you guys remember that? Yes, I do remember that. ...its own value to prevent scammers. This made fruits like Pokemon trading. Oh my goodness. They should actually make blocks fruits card like this. This is actually pretty good. ...cards rather than blocky weapons. Yes. But best of all, this inspired viral challenge videos where you start with Ooh. the worst fruit and then trade yes. your way to the best. The trading was like insane. After this, Indra wondered how big his game could get. His plan wasn't to squeeze money out of players, but mm -hmm. to make the best updates possible and keep players playing. Yes, that's because if the his way fans to do were it. happy, he was happy. May, July, okay, okay, update progress. Added new mythical fruit. This was when Leopard was born. Ooh. Oh, and you. So today I made over so 100 many? accounts in order Back to spin to for the new legendary leopard fruit and blocks fruits. Let's see if we can get it or not. Did he get it? Did he what get it? What are we gonna get? Oh, he got a anticlimactic falcon fruit. <laughs> he just got the new a fruits falcon. took so long to get, which gave players a Oof. trading kilo to leopard for 50 hours. Yes, we like doing this. If you guys want me to do this for 200 hours, start in 200 right now. Maybe I'll do it. Reason to keep playing. So following this, he added V4 awakenings, Ooh, basically insane fighting abilities. But you need to follow an entire story for a chance of getting them, which not only added to the lore but made fighting Ooh. a lot more immersive. While Indra worked on the next big update, he this is this is the Leviathan for show sure, for show. Sure. It took some time to realize Blocks Fruits may have started with him, but it definitely outgrew him. Despite the effort he put into each update, he couldn't have gotten this far the without the help of others. So to pay respects, he made a whole event to thank his fans for 10 billion visits. Yes. Mailed a Rolex to Axier got a Rolex, bro. That was insane. That was a W. Axier actually got a Rolex. That is a W right there. That is a W right there. Axior. And lastly, he wrote a little poem to thank his brother for sticking around. Yes. Even after years of failed games. We struggled together, and now we shine together. Yes, sir. Oh, and speaking of shining... Welcome to update 20. For eight whole months, Indra poured his heart into the update. Actually, that was seven months. That was seven months. <laughs> eight months, okay. Let's see, you know what? Max eight months. So fans poured their hearts back into playing. The new fruits, locations, and bosses were so spectacular that it not only broke the player record, Ooh, but also cracked- Two million. Two million concurrent players. What game has a higher concurrent player than Blocks Fruits? Can you guys tell me? Can you guys tell me? Two million and up. Which game will break this record? Crashed Roblox 12 times yes, that day. This was the but the crazy part is, that's just part one of update 20. Considering he's always planning ahead, I'm sure Indra will have many more years of bringing joy to players and YouTubers and Ooh, inspire even, other devs to Mr. do the Beast same. I guess true passion always wins in the end. We did it, Ooh, Blade Ball. But doesn't that make you realize, despite being three different players, they all have one thing in common. They all have one thing in common. They are millionaires! Is that what he's gonna say? Is that what he's gonna say? No, not their insane amounts of money. My bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, okay? But their true love for making Roblox games, their main goal wasn't to make some cash grab, but to create something that'll be- Yes. Whoever is saying Bloxus was cash grab, it's, it's not even, it's not even close. You can go to from level one to max level without using any Robux. 
It would only take you like seven days. Be remembered for years to come. Because at the end of the day, money is temporary, but your legacy exactly. can live forever. But considering how massive Roblox is, there's a lot of people I left out. So if we somehow get 100k likes. Yes, let's get this video to 100k likes. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Boom.